Oh, I've got a message, Christine. Mm -hmm. Vlad and Christine, we want you to put the Canon EOS R3 through its paces and capture some amazing images of the ERX. Don't hold back. Let's do that, no? So we just had a chat with Christine and we were speaking about the plan for today. So it's going to be interesting, very hot, a lot of action and hopefully a lot of nice pictures. I'm Vladimir Ries, I'm Formula One photographer, Canon ambassador, that's what I do for life. We are in the middle of beautiful Austria and we are using the new EOS R3 camera shooting Christine with a fully electric ERX car. We need speed, we need outpace and outperform, that's why we use this camera. Right? <laughs> okay, now the fun starts, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go up there, just be ready. Let's do this. So we are here on location where we want to do the uh, Scandinavian flick. Christine's going to go up the hill with her car and then she's going to come down and we're going to use the R3 with its new uh, vehicle tracking and it's going to lock on the car and we're going to get really good shots. Racing photography, motor racing photography, it's one of the most difficult kind of photographies. I have one chance and if I take it, I take it. If I don't, I lose it. It's never coming back. You have to be very fast. I think you need to follow, in a way, your instinct and uh, your feelings and then transmit your feelings into the photography. And if you are technically good enough, then you can do that. This camera helps you to do that. It opens your room for to be more creative, even more than before. This camera gives me everything I need as a Formula One photographer, the speed, the burst, the AF, the vehicle tracking, which is amazing because it can follow the helmet of the, of the driver without you even like need to think about it. So we can only concentrate on the composition of the shot and on the main thing, which is, which is first time in my career really. So AF, AF is very important. There's a certain situations where you have to be dependent on the AF and this new AF system is more precise, faster. That's all you need. So another cool feature on the R3 is the eye control autofocus system, which allows me to lock onto an object I'm following. When the car comes into the frame of the picture I'm shooting and you just use your eye to get the focus point on that car and then you lock onto it and just follow the car and get the images you want. I mean, <laughs> it's so easy, isn't it? It just follows my eyes. <laughs> So I mainly shoot still images, but now I'm getting more and more into video as well. It was a lot of fun flying drone with uh, EOS R3. And then the quality, I was blown away with the quality when we saw it uh, after the, afterwards. You can shoot 6K, you can shoot 4K, 120 frames a second. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just exciting when you hear the numbers, uh, you just want to get into it and try it. You shoot raw so you can get the colors back easily and uh, you can get the best quality possible, really, with such a small camera. My hobby became my job, which is a dream come true, I think, for, for every photographer. And I'm able to travel the world with Formula One. It's a really unique job, and I love my job. So. Uh, it's not really a job for me, you know, it's more of a, of a hobby and I live the dream every day.
Shooting electronic shutter is a high-end technology. For me personally, it's the same as when shooting with 1DX. When you think about holding the shutter for one second and there's 30 images being made, I was shocked. When I first pressed the button, I was like, oh, uh, did I take one picture or 50 pictures? Uh, and then you realize how much speed that camera has. You know, like, <laughs> I was blown away. When there is a rain, water, you know, you just need sometimes a lot of speed. You have no time to think about it, can't predict what's going to happen. And with this, uh, it's much easier to, to capture what you want. We had a flat tire. We just got this rain. It's going to be interesting. There's a lot of water coming down now at the moment, but it's going to be nice for the pictures and for the gravel. I'm pretty optimistic that uh, this water and the mud and the gravel uh, and the dust uh, is not going to hurt the camera because it's uh, waterproof. Very challenging conditions, yeah. But I like challenging conditions. It's part of my job, isn't it? And uh, the camera likes it as well. So. <laughs> The quality of this camera is all I need. 24 megapixel is great. It's much more than it used to be. Sometimes I need to send fast images uh, via FTP that allows you to be very fast and just concentrate on, uh, on shooting images. I didn't expect such a big step forward. I was amazed, just stunning, like the number of the pictures you can shoot in one second and uh, the shutter speed. I was like, I was blown away with the shutter speed. I've been shooting up to 64,000 of a second, which uh, I've never done before. It opens your eyes again and gives you more uh, room to be creative because you can shoot the cars in you know, fastest corners and still get it crispy sharp this camera, it has evolved on every level. You are just blown away, I think, as a photographer. It's something you would never think about like five years ago. This camera basically gives you the freedom that you can focus only on the picture. That's it. <laughs>